video, we talk about the software used. Uh, first is the Unreal Game Engine. You can go anywhere to unrealengine.com and press the big blue Get Unreal button in the upper right hand corner. I think it's available on most of the pages here. And the next piece of software would be the Natron compositing software. It's located here at uh, natron.fr. And you just click the download button, and it'll ask you for some information, and then finally give you a download link. And next up, we have the national map, or nationalmap.gov, to get uh, the maps and software to process the maps. So I'll start over here, find data, and view download. We'll click here. And we go to the tool section here in the center. We want the elevation tools. Oop, that's not right. Where am I? Uh, correction, we want the raster conversion tools. Okay, we come to this page and we want to download this zip file. The USGS raster conversion scripts. So I'll click on that. And I'll save it. Now I'll go ahead and open it up. And I'm going to extract it to a location on my desktop. by USGS Unreal Depth. And this is what the scripts look like. And I'll close that down. And that has uh, s some requirements. It requires this uh, GDAL library. Uh, that's the, what's it called? The Geospatial Data Abstraction Library. Uh, so we go over here to get it. Let's see. Uh, it's this link here. And we'll come down here to the main download page. And we'll scroll down here to the GIS internals link. And we're finally here. Our direct link is uh, gisinternals.com. And we want the stable release. And we only need uh, the version 1.1, .1, or the version 1 of GDAL. The 2 includes extra vector formats, I think. You can give that a shot if you like, but I'm just going to stick with the latest of the 1.1. One, one. I'm going to choose the last one, the Windows 64-bit version, since that's what I'm running. So I'll click this. Uh, it'll indicate at the bottom that it's a zip file, but it's really just a link. So I'm going to click on that link. I'll take me to the true download links. What I want is the generic installer with the core components. So I'll click on that, I'll save the file, and I'll take a few seconds to download that. So, four seconds to go, three, okay, and I'll install that. And next, accept, and next, typical installation, and install. Uh, 
Yeah, that's taking a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, while that's doing that, I'll talk about this one last piece of software by xnview.com. Uh, this can be used for some of the files on the USGS site are in the JPEG 2000 format, and this software will convert it to a more readable format. So I'll go to the desktop, and the program is called xconvert. And here it is, and looks good. Go to downloads, and I'll download the setup for Win64. Save that, and while that's downloading, go back to our GDAL installation. And do the, the user account, say yes. And it's done. I don't have to worry about that anymore. I'll go ahead and install the xConvert, or I won't let you We'll make you walk through that. Just click on here to select again, yes. And okay. Next. Accept. As always. Next. Next. A next again. And I'll let it create a desktop icon. And next. And install. Okay, and it'll come up with a page, ask for a donation. Software is free, but uh, you might want to give a little donation to the author of the software so you can continue to work on it, and just to say thank you for creating it. And that is it. That's all the software that's going to be used. In the next video, we'll talk about uh, downloading some maps.